In this video, you will learn how to create a complex graphic of cow abduction used on the Amadine website. As you can see, the art consists of multiple layers, and perhaps the most complicated part is adding various effects to achieve correct depth and color transitions. As always, you begin with creating a document. For this particular graphic, I will choose Web Type Document and set size to 780 by 575 pixels. To set the background color, I will use the rectangle tool to draw a shape that will cover the entire document. While having the created shape selected, open the appearance panel and disable stroke. In the fill settings, select RGB color scheme from the drop down menu and enter the following number 1F, 2E, 6E into the color code field. This will fill the rectangle with exactly the same blue color as in the original graphic. If you don't need a precise copy of the cow abduction art, you can pick any color you like. In this tutorial, I will operate with the color code parameters to create an exact copy of the original art. To create a copy of an object and place it exactly at the same position, use Command-C and Command-Shift-V shortcuts. That's what I will use to create another rectangle and place it above the original one. But this time, I will make it a slightly brighter blue color by entering 3545B1 as the color code parameter. Now let's create a circle in the center using the Ellipse tool. Hold the Shift key during drawing to create a circle, not oval, or simply adjust the necessary parameters later via the geometry panel. I would recommend you set the diameter to 470 pixels, but it can actually be of any size. Activate the Move tool and select the circle together with the upper rectangle. Then apply the Exclude operation to these shapes via the control bar. As a result, the rectangle shape will get a circular hole in the middle. Another rectangle that was previously created will be the background underneath the rectangle with the hole. Most design elements added later, except clouds, will be placed under the rectangle with the hole in the Layers panel, but above the background rectangle. With the help of the Pen tool, in this particular case you can use the Ellipse tool, draw Earth surface and fill it with gradient. Use the following gradient parameters. Linear gradient, starting with light green, numerical parameter is 86E000, and ending with dark green, the numerical parameter is 008039. The scale should be set to 100% and gradient angle to 300 degrees. Leave opacity at 100% and retain normal blend. Looks good to me. Now it's time to draw a flying saucer and its beam. This can be conveniently done with the help of the ellipse and pen tools. Start with drawing a disk using the ellipse tool and set the fill color to 4332AB. Then switch to the Pen tool to draw the cabin. The best color code parameter for that is 93F1FF. Yellow lights on the flying saucer perimeter are added with the ellipse tool and their color is set to D4EA37. To draw the light beam, use the Pen tool once again, but this time use Gradient as a fill. It has the following parameters. Linear type, starting with light orange, FC9322, and ending with red, DD0047. Scale should be set to 100% and angle to 7 degrees. Leave the opacity and blend mode as is. Stars in the sky can be easily created using the star tool. To create a four-pointed star, set points count to four and the inner radius to 30%. Once the star is created, switch to the Selection tool to select four inner smart dots and set corner radius to 18 pixels. Then select four smart dots on the star points and set corner radius to 0 0.5 pixels. Finally, set the star color. Use Copy and Paste to create several duplicates of the star. Resize several of them and locate them in different positions to simulate the sky. Add several tiny stars using the ellipse tool. Now I will move on to drawing the trees. For this, I will again use a combination of the pen and ellipse tools. Note that if you draw a tree crown with the ellipse tool, 
you will need to use union boolean operation to convert several ellipses into a single shape. To create a symmetrical tree, draw the left side, then create a copy and flip it horizontally via the geometry panel. Collect two parts and apply the union operation to make it a single shape. Trunks and branches color should be set to 1F, 2E, 6E, while the same gradient as we used for the land can be set for crowns. You can try the eyedropper tool to copy the color. This will save you time. The moon is drawn by uniting several ellipses. To make the moon more realistic, I'll add craters above its surface. I'll use the ellipse tool again, but this time apply a dark blue color. To draw clouds, as you may guess, I'll use the ellipse tool and union operation. But this time, I will use expand operation immediately after this. Expand creates a single editable shape that can be further edited with the selection tool. I'll move a couple of dots and make the cloud border smoother. Something like that. Parameters for clouds gradient fill are as follows. Linear type, starting with yellow color. Numeric parameter is FFDB51. And ending with a pink color. The numeric parameter is F257A2. The scale is set to 100%, and the angle of 288 degrees will do. Increase the opacity to 100%. And there you go. And now the time has come to create the central element, a cow. If you haven't mastered yet drawing with the pen tool, I'd recommend you draw a cow sketch on a paper first, and then take a photo and import it into Amadine with the drag and drop or via File Import menu. After that, you can trace the cow with the pen tool, which is way easier than drawing from scratch. As I covered the work with pen in previous tutorials, I'll switch to Already Drawn Object. Now I'll use the light gray color for the cow's body and a violet color for the cow spots. For the nose, I'll use gradient. The eye is filled with DA, DA, DA color. The nostrils and a pupil have a color code 000000, which corresponds to a dark black. Once all objects are in place, I will proceed with applying texture and depth effects to the graphic elements. For texture, I will use a raster image, and you can use your own texture or download one from the internet. I'll begin with the background rectangle. Using the Appearance panel, I will add another fill option and set its type to Image. This is where I'll use previously created paper texture. For this image fill, I will set Overlay Blend Mode with the 40% transparency and place the texture in the desired position. I choose to set the scale to 88%, but your value may differ due to different texture patterns used. Let's add one more fill to the background rectangle. This time, I add a gradient fill with the following parameters. Gradient Linear. Color Code 1, FF, FF, FF. Color Code 2, BD, 6A, 94. Alpha Channel, 80%. Color Code 3, 961355. Alpha Channel, 80%. Blend Mode Overlay Scale 100% Opacity 100% Angle 286 degrees The background is finally ready. Now it's time to fine-tune the rectangle with the hole in it. It already has a blue color fill. I'm adding another fill with the image texture as I did for the background rectangle. Again, set the Overlay Blend Mode with Transparency at 60% and the Scale at 100%. Next, I'm adding another Gradient Fill with the following parameters. Fill, Gradient, Radial. Color Code 1, FF, FF, FF. Color Code 2, 0C, 0C, 0C. Alpha Channel, 38%. Opacity, 75%. Blend Mode, Overlay. Scale, 100%. Roundness, 100%. Angle, 305 degrees. This particular gradient simulates a partially lit surface. 
adjust the position of where the light falls using the rotation wheel. One last gradient fill needs to be added with the following parameters. Fill, gradient linear, color code 1, F3, E1, D7, color code 2, 87, 3C, 3C, opacity 50%, blend mode, overlay, scale 100%, angle 330 degrees. After completing adding fills, it's time to add a stroke of one point width and gray color. It is also important to select stroke profile, the one that gets thinner to the edges. Now I will move on and add a shadow. For this, in the appearance panel, I click the little plus icon and select shadow in the drop down menu. And then in the shadow settings, I enter the following parameters color code 020D. 1.8, opacity 75%, blur 22 pixels, offset 15 pixels, blend mode normal, angle 315 degrees. Using the same approach previously described, I add textures, shadows, and gradients to other shapes. For the earth shape, I add a gradient that starts with a light green color and ends with the dark green as well as adding one point stroke and a fill with a previously used paper texture. Apply texture to the tree trunks with the following parameters. Apart from adding texture, I will also apply the shadow and inner shadow effects to the tree trunks. First, I add a shadow of black color. Then I add inner shadow of white color to create a thin paper effect. The difference between inner shadow and shadow is that the latter is used to add ordinary shadows, while inner shadow is mostly used to add volume to shapes. For this particular graphic, I'm going to achieve a different effect. Therefore, I add a very thin inner shadow with the following parameters. Let's get back to the trees and add texture to fill the tree crowns with the following parameters. Scale parameter may vary to make the trees slightly differ from one another, so I'll leave it up to you and your design taste. The tree crowns should also have shadow and inner shadow. Shadow parameters are Inner shadow parameters are Now I will add textures and effects to the flying saucer. I will begin with the light beam. Fill Shadow Inner shadow. The flying saucer disk parameters are fill, also add gradient fill, then add shadow with the following parameters, and finally add inner shadow with the following parameters. The cabin gets the image fill the parameters you may see here, and a linear gradient fill. And finally, a shadow with the following parameters. I guess you already got the basic idea. So using the approach described above, add image fills, gradients, and shadows to the remaining design elements. In the end, you will get an illustration very similar to this. Looks pretty cool, isn't it?